What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. I hope you guys have been doing good. I hope you guys have been doing great. I hope you guys have been striving to overachieve every single day to be the best that you can be at every aspect in life. And um, yeah, so I am actually using a different camera. So if this isn't like perfectly in focus or if the angle is not perfect, I apologize. So this is actually what I usually use. This is my like standard little like vlog camera that I usually use for everything. So this is a Sony um, 5100. The one that you guys are on right now is a Sony 6000. So the difference is this one is a little bit different as in you can put like a shotgun mic on it. The, like you can put more attachments on it. It's a little more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, you can pretty much use it in all different, it's more beneficial in different ways. So that's, that's all I'm gonna say. So you can do a little bit more to this camera right here. It's actually got the same lens as the other one. But the reason I'm using this camera is because one, I never use it. And two, you guys are always like, Noah, clean your lens. Noah, clean your lens. Noah, clean your, and I'm like trying to tell you guys that it's not my lens. Like it's literally inside the camera, which I'll show you guys in like two seconds. Like. So that's why I'm going to end up using this camera. I plan on getting another camera very soon, but uh, honestly for right now I can use this one. And the reason I'm like, I don't know if this is perfect, if the lighting's good or if everything's like viewing right, is because on this camera the one part about it that I hate is that you can't flip up the screen and actually watch and see if you're in focus or actually see what the camera's viewing. But let me show you this camera real quick, what I'm talking about. Alright, so you got this camera right here, let me just take off the lens, alright. Right here, I know you guys can see it, I can see it right through the camera. See that little print? That little print right there. I, I guess, I've had this camera for years, guys. I've had this camera for about three, three and a half years. It's time for it to retire, to be honest with you. And uh, yeah, it's got that little fingerprint there. You're not supposed to put your fingers anywhere near this. Like, this is like bad, don't do that. And uh, I was dumb enough to do it, I guess, years back. I don't remember doing it, but I guess I accidentally, I guess I was taking off the lens one day and I was like, I just put my finger right there and now this camera is you know it's the quality is not the best just because there's smudges on it so if I want to get this fixed then I'm gonna actually have to take it to a shop and get everything good on it but uh I mean the lens is clean the lens has always been fine it's just that piece inside the camera so that's why I'm gonna be using this bad boy right here for this video and further videos on this channel last little thing I want to say about that though if you guys like the quality of this camera let me know below like if this quality is actually pretty top-notch you guys like it like it's a little bit more sharper than the other camera then let me know cuz I'm gonna start using this one um, I, I like I said I might end up buying a new camera these are both Sony's I might experiment with like a uh, Canon or just try something different you know and I, I just really don't feel like spending another grand on camera equipment because I've spent so much money on just you know random camera things and it just ends up costing so much money and um, you know all, all this stuff that I buy, it's, it's very useful. You know, I use it on the daily, but to drop like tons of money on camera gear, especially when I already have like, I'm not gonna lie, like in the past like five, six years I've been filming, like I probably have about 15 grand worth of like camera gear. And it's just, it's just a lot of money. So I'm trying to use, you know, what I can with what I got right now because I, ha I do have a lot of great equipment, but uh, we might buy a new camera for the near future. So guys, the main purpose of this video is because of Walmart. All right, so I want to start a new series. Before I even talk about this, I'd just like to say that I came to Walmart on the worst day possible. As you guys know, I'm a busy person, all right? I'm a very busy person. The time I usually get to come video stuff like this and do different types of videos is on the weekend. So today's a Saturday. And I'm literally parked in about the, there's two spots next to me. I'm parked in the back of Walmart. I'm not gonna lie, Walmart has probably the biggest parking lot I've ever seen. And there's cars like parked all over here. There's 18 wheelers everywhere. There's campers next to me making noise for the generators. There's an ambulance going by. There's just a lot going on, so bear with me here. So we're gonna be going into Walmart today. I wanna start a new series because I think this is, can relate to you guys. It can relate to everyone, really. This is gonna be just an amazing series that I wanna start. So it's gonna be like fishing on a budget. You know, people do it um, in you know the workout industry. They do it in all different industries. Um, 
where everyone cares about the budget. Everyone cares about the price. And as you guys know, fishing is very, very, very expensive at times. And all in all, fishing is one of the most expensive sports, I'd say, in my opinion. Um, fishing is just super expensive. So what I want to do in this series is I want to go around to all the local spots that have fishing supplies. So we're going to do a Bass Pro Shops one. We're going to do a Dick Sporting Goods. We're going to do an Academy. We're gonna do a Cabela's. We're gonna do every single place that we can go in general. And Walmart's going to be the first place that we're gonna be filming this video for. So, very excited about this. I think this is gonna be a good series because me, myself, I'm sure most of you guys, when it comes to anything, especially fishing, um, is very expensive. And I wanna show you guys some tips and tricks, you know, at Walmart to get baits and it still be in your budget. And you're not gonna be spending, you know, a hundred bucks when you come here to Walmart when you want to just go fishing for the weekend and you need some baits. So I'm going to go in here, show you guys what you what blah, 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 show you guys what they have and we're going to spend around I'd say 20 to 25 dollars on lures that are going to be cost the cost is going to be great and um, it's not going to kill your wallet. So let's go ahead and hop up inside. I'm going to make this quick and simple inside and then I'm going to actually bring all these lures home and that's when I can like in depth unbox and show you guys what I got talk about you know why I got it because I can tell you one thing when I walk into this Walmart it's gonna be super loud and I'm probably just gonna end up bringing in my phone just because it's more efficient for me just to go in there and film quick and easy with my phone rather than carrying around because this camera is bigger than that camera and uh, I don't want to be just toting this bad boy around so I'm actually gonna bring my phone record in there we're gonna go get all the supplies bring it back to my house then we're gonna talk about the prices all right so we're gonna start off with right here with the worms so you're looking at all these prices they're like three dollars two dollars two dollars two dollars i was gonna get to a pond even a lake um you know standard trick worms really great and these are um only three dollars and 48 cents and you gotta look these are a 20 pack all right so you're gonna look at it like these are a 20 pack as well and these are only two dollars and 94 cents um I mostly go trick worms, so you get 20 of these, $3.48. These are by Zoom, you get these at Walmart. I would usually get like a watermelon color just because you can use this a little bit everywhere. You can use these uh, weightless, but I, I usually don't use like a pink bubble gum worm too often. Um, white, you know, you want to use that. You want to use this a more versatile color. Also, looking at Cinco's, if you're going to throw like a wacky rig or a weightless Cinco, I mean, you got all these brands right here. Yum, as you can tell, $2.96. Striking two dollars and ninety six cents. These, I believe, are a seven pack. These are an eight pack. So you get one more, about the same price, give or take. Gary Yamamoto, six dollars and thirty four cents for a, a ten count. You know that's that's way too much. So we're gonna go with these June Bug Yum Dingers standard Cinco's. You can use them for you know wacky rig or regular weightless Texas rig. Usually every Walmart has this brand right here and if you guys are seriously like on a budget and you really don't want to spend much like you're, you're seriously you don't want to go spend five dollars on a lure you're really on a budget and you want to go get some new stuff just to go around the ponds um, you know even lakes and you just want to get some cheaper tackle because you clearly like you're on a budget you don't want to spend much money so you come here you only want to spend ten dollars but you want to get like five lures so these lures are only a dollar ninety six so I'm actually going to get some of these just because I want to show you guys that you know even though these aren't the best quality as you know if you're gonna go striking or any other brand but this still works and this is what you can use so this red rattle trap I can easily go through one of these ponds and it's only gonna be a dollar ninety six so I'm actually gonna get this one I'm also gonna get this um, this little crankbait right here it's about four dollars right here for two hard baits usually every Walmart I've been to has this section as well where it has buzz baits and spinner baits and they're only a dollar these aren't going to be the best spinner baits that you can get you know they're not going to be the best i'm going to have the best hook not going to have the best blade but honestly it's going to work for the price to pay a dollar for this honestly i would go for it so we're going to get one of these so i'm actually going to get a white spinner bait and a white buzz bait and that's actually comparing to you know five dollars for the striking buzz bait usually those are the buzz baits i throw or the booyahs the booyahs are very good those right there that's what I usually throw, but if you're really on the price, like I said, just go with those down there here at Walmart. But uh, comparing to the other prices, usually around five dollars for a spinner bait or a buzz bait, even six dollars if you want to get that, you know, special edition KVD one. So just a dollar, 
right down there. With these worms, if you're wanting to put this like on a shaky head or some type of jig head for both of these, um, they usually have some just standard old jig heads right here. This is usually for like crappie, but you can get these right here, which are pretty much some wobble heads. And uh, it's $1.96 for a three pack. Now it's gonna be a little bit more pricey, but honestly it's gonna be worth the money. And um, it's gonna be better than if you just got like a standard jig head like that. These are more high quality. These are actually gonna be the wobble heads as well. And it's gonna work perfectly for those worms right there. And also that Senko. All right, so we got all the baits that, you know, I'd, I would want, especially like the soft plastics. So and now we're gonna look at the hooks and the weights over here. We did get some shaky heads for some of the worms. So if you're on, wanting to rig, rig this like wacky rig style, or if you wanna throw a drop shot, then you're gonna need different weights and hooks. So we're gonna go ahead and hook it up right here. Here's some drop shot weights. Um, I'm gonna grab these right here, these bad boys. Only 94 cents. 94 cents for five of these. 94 cents, five of those bad boys. That's really all you need. Now we're gonna go over here to the hooks and um, pick out some for a wacky rig and also pick some out for a drop shot, which we could use standard. We could probably use the same hook if we really want to save some money there. Um, let's see what we got. Right here, only a dollar 78. These are actually gonna work for our drop shot and our wacky rig. Here's everything right here. Ignore paper towels, ignore the butt ribbon. Just something I gotta do. Ignore all these rice cakes. That stuff right there. And I actually added two things on there on accident that I needed for something else. So the price is a little bit higher. But I ended up spending around $15. So we're gonna take all this stuff home and go talk about it. Wow. Let's see everything we got for around $16. There is no excuse for no one to say that they can't afford to go fishing because of this video right here. Listen, it, it ain't all fancy. You don't have to have the best of the best lures to go out there and go fishing. Especially if you're just going and fishing in a pond like the pond right behind me. You don't need all the fancy stuff. And that's, that's not what it's about. We're all on a budget here. And if you're seriously on like the dollar budget, this is the best way to go. I spent $16 all this stuff. My receipt says 24 because I did buy some other things, like two or three other things that are for a different video, which you guys uh, find out coming up like this and uh, this. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry about this stuff. The rest in there, that was $16 and something cents, all right? Literally, there's no excuse for you guys not to go fishing. There's, there's no excuse like, oh, fishing is too expensive, oh, fishing is this, that. Like, come on, like $16, you, that's not even a $20 bill. And you're gonna have enough lures. And let's see the variety of stuff we even bought. So, we got this little Walmart series, just little crankbait right here. It's not the fanciest thing. You know, the hooks probably suck, but it's gonna work. If you guys, like I said, if you guys are on that budget, it doesn't matter. You got that little crankbait right there. Then you got a little red rattle trap. Perfect. Like, I promise you, I can go out there and catch one on that. I got some hooks for a wacky rig and a drop shot, and then I got some drop shot weights. Boom, that was like $3. You got three wobble heads that are actually decently high quality, not high quality, but decent wobble heads. I mean, you got these for like $2 and something cent. Then you got these worms, you got a 20 pack, 20 pack of these finesse worms for like, I believe it was like $3.48. That, that's nothing, for 20 of them. You got these young dingers for like a dollar something, you got eight of them. The Senkos are going to be a little bit more expensive, but you know, that's nothing. And then lastly, you got this buzz bait and you got this spinner bait. Not the best quality, don't get me wrong, this is horrible quality. But if you really need these fishing lures to go fish, it's only a dollar, man. Like, look at this, it's a dollar. It sure ain't that bad. I can go out there and throw it and, you know, probably go catch fish. Like, it can't be that bad. It's a dollar. You guys are on a budget. This isn't. There's no excuse to not go fishing. There's no excuse to spend, you know, all this money if you're not wanting to spend all that money. You know, you don't have to have the fanciest fishing gear. Like I know I promote, you know, the companies that I'm with. You know, go check this out because that's something that I use and I believe in 100%. But that doesn't mean you guys have to go buy all the fancy stuff as well. You know, like I'm sponsored by Ranger Boats. I think Ranger's personally the best boat out there in my opinion. If you guys don't have the money to go buy that and you guys go then go buy like a john boat you know like 
that's what it is guys you got these young baits right here um these are whack i can just, what i'm going to do is wacky rig this um i can also throw it on that wobble head as well but mainly i'm just going to walk uh wacky rig this bad boy so with these hooks that i got it's going to be perfect for the drop shot it's going to be perfect for the wacky rig see what i did there i didn't go buy you know drop shot hooks and wacky rig hooks i bought a hook that would you know i knew could work for both so easily i'm just going to Hook this right through the middle. It's gonna be a standard wacky rig. This is perfect for any ponds, perfect for skipping under docks on a lake, um, if you're fishing any shallow water pretty much. And the color that I got was June Bug because most of like the ponds and a majority of the lakes are dirty water and uh, that June Bug's gonna work pretty well. So that's that. And uh, for the drop shotting, I am gonna use this watermelon red, or not watermelon red, uh, watermelon seed worm. This is a standard trick worm by Zoom. You know, 20 pack, you know, don't go like, I still I use these all the time like just a standard old trick worm you drop shot that bad boy hook it up nose hook it then you got your little weights right here that you only paid 96 cents for boom you, you got a drop shot set up right there simple as that you got 20 of these worms for like three dollars as well then you got your buzz bait and you got your spinner bait man these probably aren't gonna be the most high quality don't get me wrong but man for a dollar for a dollar like you can't go wrong with it for a dollar, you got your little crankbait. For a dollar, you got your little rail trout. Like, come on, guys. You, you really can't get wrong with this. Let's just rig up one of these so I can show you. So, I got this wobble head right here. It's just a little jig head. Let's see what it's going to look like. These were more on the pricey end, but honestly, it's really not. For everything else that we bought, it's more on the pricey end, but in reality, it's not. You know, most, most jig heads and everything's going to be way, way more expensive than, you know, soft plastic baits in general. Boom. Look at that. You got your little wobble head right there. A little shaky head. Look at this. Like, there's no reason for you guys not to, like, you can go and just spend a little bit amount of money and you can go catch them. I promise you, you get this bait right here, you can throw it anywhere. This color, this color right here, you can literally throw it anywhere like this is the most versatile color there is this and uh green pumpkin you go through this like go to any pond that you want with this bait right here and i promise you you'll probably go catch them like guaranteed and this is three dollars for 20 of them and this is like two two dollars and fifty cents for three of them and most of the time you're not gonna break this off most of the time if a fish is gonna mess up the worm he's gonna go like this he's gonna break it and then all you have to do is get another one of these it's not you're not gonna have to get the whole you know jig head so it's perfect guys perfect but I really wanted to make this series just to show you guys that you don't have to have all the fancy stuff to go fishing. You don't have to spend all this money on fishing supplies. And most of us, we're on a budget. Maybe not a budget this, like, condensed, but if you are, this is perfect. Like, if you don't have much money to spend on fishing gear, just go buy some stuff like this. Go have fun. You know, that's what fishing is about. It's about having fun. It's about enjoying something that you love. It's about enjoying the outdoors. It's about having fun learning. And this is a perfect, not even start, it's a perfect setup. Like, perfect. If I wanted to go travel and fish ponds, like, and I didn't have any tackle in my truck and I wanted to stop by Walmart and only spend 20 bucks, here you go. Like, it's perfect, guys. But I want to create this series just to show you guys that anyone can go fishing. Anyone can go fishing at, you know, a little budget like this. Even if it was a big budget. I mean, anyone can go fishing. And uh, there's really no excuse. There's no excuse on saying, you know, I don't have enough money to go fishing. I don't have this. I don't have that. When in reality, you can just go spend like 20 bucks like this and at least go have a fun time, you know, at a pond or anything. And uh, I just wanted to show this to you guys. And for you guys that are on a big budget, go ahead, go try out some of these lures. I have to equip these in some of my videos just to show you guys that like anyone, anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. Let me know below what the next place you want me to go to. So this one was at Walmart. I plan on going to Dick's. I plan on going to Bass Pro. Cabela's if I ever see one because I never really see them. I want to go to an academy. Let me know where else. Where else you think I should go. Leave a comment below. Also, drop a big like on this video if you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to see more, you know, fishing on the budget videos. Because I think this is very important. And this is something that no one's doing. At least that I've seen. I don't really watch any fishing videos anymore. But I haven't really seen anyone do this. So, breaking it down. $16 for all these baits. You got one, two, three, four five six seven different styles of baits that you you got seven different rigs right here so you had seven rods you literally paid sixteen dollars for seven different rigs like 
Oh my God, that is insane, guys. But I'm gonna stop talking. Thank you guys so much for the support. You guys mean the world to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, be sure to grind every single day. Be sure to just be the best that you can be. Every single day, at least one thing in life. But if you can, be a big, really great, well-rounded person in all aspects of life. And just grind every single minute, guys. Be the best that you can be at everything. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you wanna check out the grind, show sure, right here. I'll leave the link below to my website. Um, I'd love you guys to support this. I actually share it on my Team Kicking the Rest TV page on Instagram. Um, give you guys some publicity. Um, maybe get you guys some more followers. I mean, on that page, I have like 40,000. It's not horrible. It's not not like my big page, but I'll share you guys on there, all the pictures that you take in my clothing, and I'll hopefully build you guys up a little bit and share the love. But thank you guys so much for the support, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I think that 24-7 an understatement to my day-to-day. -day. If ain't no way, then I'ma make a way. Yeah. They say I say it ain't no way.